And we're back to CapCut. Let me show you a text zoom effect. We'll start with this footage. I don't know if it is New York, but well, let's just assume that it is. I'll put a default text right here. And now I change it. As I've said, I'm going to use New York. I want to make it bold, but it's a good idea to use a bold star to begin with. Maybe this one. Let's gain it up. Oh, let me use another one. I'll go for this and I'll make it bold on top. This is the start position, so pick a size that you want to have in your starting frame of the sequence. Then make the clip below invisible. Doesn't matter where you are now. In the timeline, you just want to have a black background and your text and then export the still frame. Just make sure that you find the folder where you put it. We'll delete this text element and bring the footage back and now I import the still frame that we've exported. So the text with the black background, I put it on top and resize it to make it as big as my footage below. It's active in the timeline and now I'll go to blend and change the blending mode to multiply down here. So once again, make sure that you apply this effect to the still frame or text with the black background and not the footage below. So our text with the black background and not the footage below. Now we are at the start position and I create a keyframe for the scale by clicking on this diamond icon. I go to the ends, create another keyframe. And now I scale this up. Let me try 2000%. 5000. Let's see, let's uh, I'll go for 3000 in this case. That should be enough. But you can see due to the position of the text, we are not ending on the footage, we are not ending on the text, but on the black background. It's a little bit of an issue and we need to fix that using position. But let me play it first. So here's our text zoom that works, but we don't want it that fast. So I create another keyframe maybe here and I set this to 500%. So it's a little bit slower at the start and in the end it speeds up. And I think that's better. Let me even reposition this keyframe for 500% a little bit more to the right. I simply left click drag here in the timeline and now it's even slower at the start and in the end it speeds up. And then we want to have a full reveal of the footage. And to do that we need the position right here. So we create a keyframe here at the 500 position for the scale, then go to the end, create another keyframe. And here I simply left click drag on the preview window to reposition the text and this reveals the footage fully. And now let me play it again. Text zooms in slowly. In the end it speeds up and adjusts the position. And I think that's a good result. And that's how you can create this text zoom effect in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.